Hey girlfriends, it's me, Naturally Sage. Welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new here, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any natural hair content. I created this channel to share my natural hair knowledge with you guys as well as spread hair positivity and hair love because I believe that all natural hair is good hair. For today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated wash day routine. I, I want to just give you guys a mini background of like where my hair is at. So. I did my wash day deep condition with the TGIN Repair X line and then I twisted up my hair in some like flat twists in the front and some jumbo twists in the back with some double buttercream and I kept that in for like four days and then I did just like a rinse in the shower. So I pretty much have no product in my hair unless there's like some leftover leave-in and this is what we're working with. We might also trim my hair today, but that's not like a normal wash day thing. I haven't trimmed my hair in months and next week I have a color consultation. Okay, I said that way too excited. Next week I have a color consultation, much better. And I don't want her to say that my hair isn't healthy enough to hold color because I want to bring it up lighter. So, um, and I just need it in general. But here we are, okay, so we're kind of dry. It doesn't feel as bad as it may look. Um, Cause I'm a little dull as well. Here's the back. Let me go get, let me show you what I'm gonna use for shampoo and then we'll get this going. All right, so I'm gonna be using this shampoo and conditioner combo. And while I condition, I'm going to be detangling with this guy. And while I shampoo, I'm gonna be massaging with this guy. And then I have a little microfiber towel that I'll wrap my hair up in and we'll check back in. By the way, it is exactly 9.03 a.m. So I'm gonna get straight in the shower, get straight to it, and we'll see how long this takes. Ooh. It's exactly 10.03, you see that? It's exactly 10.03. Okay. I'm, I'm making a video. Come here, Pop. So it took me exactly one hour to shampoo and condition my hair and to tangle. When I get to the conditioner part, I pretty much do section by section, to tangle with my fingers, and then go in with that brush that I showed you guys. Mm, this is what we're working with. Okay, here's the back. I'm gonna wrap my hair up in a scarf and take a quick break and get some things done around the house and then we'll come back, apply the deep conditioner and we'll talk about some wash day tips and tricks. Okay, freshly deep conditioned. I'm just gonna get my hair sectioned off and then we're gonna go in with this Barbie Organics Curl Defining Cream. Come on. Focus up for me. There we go. I want to do a wash and go because I haven't done one in a really long time. And usually that works better for me when I use just like a little bit of gel. So I'm going to be using this ORS Curls Unleashed Curly Coil HD Gel Souffle. I'm just going to make sure that before I'm applying product that every section has some water to it. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it smells really nice. The main ingredients in this product are shea butter and avocado. Ooh, the application is real nice. It just kind of like slides through my hair. Yes. Then I got my fake demon brush. Nothing too fancy. Gonna start from the bottom, kind of work my way up here. And then once I and fully detangled, I'll go ahead and put in just like a little bit of gel. So this is the amount of gel I'm putting, like the tiniest amount, just cause I don't wanna get my hair to be like crunchy, you know? So just kind of work that in. And then this step. So we're gonna take the Denman and I'm kind of going to like flick my wrist a little bit. See like that? So it gets like a nice curl and boom. 
that's it okay and if you notice can you see let me show you guys if you notice it's like a little bit of frizz right here and the rest is kind of defined that is totally normal and totally okay at least for me like i know that when i do a wash and go it is impossible for all my curls to be defined and like super shiny looking like that's just not the composition of my hair like without product you can see that these parts in the back just happen to be more defined well this part right here this part i don't think i've ever seen that curl what it's what it like defined or anything like that so just gonna keep doing this process and once I get to the top, I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse. Something about content creating every once in a while, you just feel like everything you make is not good. Um, so I'm trying to fight it, but I'm also letting myself be and doing other things that I enjoy. It's like taking pictures has honestly been a lot more fun and easy than creating videos, which is not usually the norm for me. I usually like creating videos and pictures give me anxiety, but I don't know. My anxiety likes to switch up on me. Hey, Kinky. Hi, Kinky. I asked him if he wanted breakfast, and he said no. Then I started doing my hair, and he's like, Ma, I think I want breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you want. But you gotta wait now. He He's learning the word wait. It hasn't been fun. <laughs> he totally knows. Pray for me. This wash and go the way it's supposed to go. I really used to think that I needed to layer like six different products. I needed a leave-in, a gel, a conditioner, a curl defining cream, and one more gel for good measure. not to mess anything up okay this is the shape that we are giving this is what's happening I'm gonna turn the diffuser on and hope for the best alrighty let's go over a couple wash day tips and how you can get your wash and goes to last a little bit longer so one of the first things that I recommend is definitely styling on clean hair. It's really important that you don't have any other buildup. And then when you're going in to actually add that product, make sure that your hair is nice and wet and that the product completely coats the hair when you're applying, as well as making sure that your hair is nice and detangled. That's gonna really help when you're trying to get those curls nice and defined. As for diffusing, if you are using the method that I am showing you above, you're gonna have a little bit more volume than you would definition, so just make a note of that. And now I'm just gonna take a little break here and we'll come back. Alrighty, apparently I didn't feel like talking for this part, so basically what I do is take my hair and use the banding method. I have tons of silk scrunchies, so sometimes I use three on each side, sometimes I use two and today I just happened to use two. This method is kind of a stretching method without having to use any heat because a lot of times people will just take their hair dryer and stretch it out, but that's adding more unnecessary heat for me. 
So I think this was actually overnight that I waited. I slept with my hair like that. And that's why I'm adding just a tad bit of water because my hair was completely dry and the water is gonna help me shape it a little bit. Now I'm just going in with this Barbie Organics oil. I can't remember the exact name, but it smells amazing apparently. And I'm just kind of putting it on my scalp and putting it on the outsides of my hair to give me just a little bit of shine. And the oil is gonna help me shape it and kind of give me <laughs> give me the shape that I am going for here. Obviously, I'm feeling myself. I really enjoyed this wash and go. I think it ended up lasting for about five to six days. And it's honestly all subjective because if you want your wash and go to last eight days, you're just gonna have to enjoy the frizz because the frizz is inevitable, especially if you have curly hair, frizz is inevitable, y'all. I hope y'all learned something from this video and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Naturally Sage.